What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodingMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at the widget tree and the scaffold for Flutter. All right guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at the widget tree and the scaffold in Flutter. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodingMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos to teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships, all my courses, videos, and books, for one time fee, which is insanely cheap. Right in the last video, we set up an Android emulator and created a first app with Flutter, and we just did the default app just to show you how to actually get something up and running. In this video, we're going to start to dive into actually building our own apps, and we're going to do that by starting to look at the widget tree and the scaffold. So, Flutter apps are basically made up of widgets, and you start out with a widget on top, and then you start to stack widgets underneath in a sort of a tree manner. And we're going to kind of look at that in this video. We're also going to look at the material design scaffold, which will allow us to make our apps look very nice very quickly, sort of the standard default look and layout of, you know, a lot of Flutter apps. You can do other things, but this is very easy out of the box. Material design was created by Google. It's a graphic library, I guess you would call it. And really, it's just copy and paste it makes things really easy. So let's head over to our code. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as always, there's a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist for the series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I'm going to come up here and click terminal, new terminal, and we have our terminal down here. I'm just going to change directory into our Flutter apps directory that I created in the last video. Now let's go Flutter, create, and let's create an app. Let's just call it secondly. It's our second app, whatever. So there we go. Popping up. Now we can come up here, file and open folder. And you just want to navigate to your C drive and find that Flutter apps directory. And then we want secondly. Then we could just create select folder and boom, there it is. Now we could click on lib, come down to main.dart, and here's the default app that Flutter creates for us. Now there's a bunch of stuff here, right? And this creates the default app that we looked at in the last video. But we don't want that. We want to actually start to build our own app. So what do we do? Well, I'm going to come up here to void main and this run app thing right here. And I'm just going to delete absolutely everything else in this file. So all we have here is our main function here and, it, and an app called my app. Now, we're not going to use my app, we're going to create our own. And we're going to use material design. Like I said, that's something from Google. If we head over to the web browser real quick, go to material.io forward slash design. Here it is, you can click on components. And you can see this is what I'm talking about. You can have like app bars, backdrops, buttons, things and they have this look to them, this big, you know, clicker button thing here, you know, date pickers, tables, all kinds of cool things. And we can use this completely for free and just slap it in there. So to do that, head back over to our code and let's change my app to material app. We want a material app there. So, okay. Now I mentioned the widget tree. Everything we do is going to be inside these brackets, at least for a while. And as we add new widgets, they'll sort of branch out in a sort of tree fashion, right? So, the best way to explain this is just to start showing you how to do it. So let's add some text to our app. And we start out by typing home. And then let's use a text widget. And inside of here, let's just say hello world. Now you'll notice everything is on one line. And that's kind of hard to read, especially as we start adding more and more widgets, we don't want this all in one line. So what you're going to want to do is come up here. And every time you have a closing parentheses, put a comma, right? So we have two of those. Now, if we file save this thing, boom, it automatically switches our code around to something that's a lot more readable. And you'll start to see the tree nature of this thing as we add things as it sort of branches out. Think of branches on a tree. You can already see we've got the top thing and then, you know, regular code indentation stuff. So let's go ahead and save this and let's come down here and run this guy. So we can click on this and I'm going to open this just in a web browser. And then let's come up here and right click and let's run without debugging. And as always, this, this is going to take a minute to open in Chrome, but I can come over to Firefox now and just paste this thing in. And we see here's our app. It says Hello World giant letters scrunched up right in the top of the screen. So hey, congratulations, we've got our first little app. So that's kind of weird. We don't want all this text scrunched up there. What we can do here is add a center widget. So I'm just going to pop this over and type in center go. If we save this, boom, it auto formats it for us. Now, instead of text, we need to add a child here. So inside of our center, we'll have a child like that. And there we go. That should do the trick. If we save this and run it now, boom, we see our text is now centered. 
Very cool. That's all there is to it. Now, as we keep adding widgets to our app, this sort of tree kind of gets bigger. And you can see it just keeps indenting inwards. Think of these indentations as branches on a tree, I suppose, or whatever, right? So we've got our app. It's not much. We've got a text widget in there, basically. What other widgets are there? Well, very quickly, we can head over here and let's just type in Flutter widget tree and just head over to the documentation real quick at docs.flutter.dev. And you can see, you can read through here and see some other things. There's some basic widgets, the text widget we already use, row column, stack, container, things like that. We're going to get into all of this stuff later. In this video, I'm just sort of touching on the very basics just to give you a broad understanding of what's possible and we'll build on it in future videos. So, okay, that's cool. But now we want to look at Flutter Scaffold. So again, hit the hit the docs here, api.flutter.dev. And you can see here's the scaffold class. Give this a few minutes, read through this if you're interested. And you can sort of start to see how to use this. It's really very easy. We can start adding things right away. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's add a title bar. So let's head back over to our code and let's get rid of all of this stuff. And you'll see the comments disappear automatically when I delete a little section. So that's kind of cool. So now we've got our material app, we've got our home. Now inside of here, let's create a scaffold. So we go scaffold. And this is a scaffold widget. And inside of here, you can see it's already sort of suggesting a bunch of things. We'll put our comma there. And then let's start out with an app bar. So we go app bar. And this is going to be an app bar widget, put our comma, right? Now inside of here, we want a title. And this is going to be text. And we could say codemy.com. Now let's put a comma there. So go ahead and save this. Looks pretty good. Now let's come up here and let's run this guy. So run without debugging. So, and we're getting an error. So it says the constructor being called isn't a const constructor. Since we've messed around with this a little bit, we need to take this out. Go ahead and do that. Save this. Head back over here. Reload this guy. And boom, now we've got this app bar. Very cool. So it says codemy.com up there. That's nice. Maybe we want it centered. Well, we already know how to do that. We just learned we can use a center widget. So inside of our title here, we can call the center widget. We can copy this and probably want to spell that right. And again, remember with a center widget, we need to create a child and then we can pop that in. So go ahead and save this. That looks good. Head back over here, hit reload and boom, now it's centered. Just that easy. So we're starting to do stuff. Very cool. So if we head back over to the documentation, we can sort of look through here and see lots of different things we can do. And here's the sample. And here's the uh, app we looked at last time. And we can look through here and kind of figure out what's going on here. So if we see here's the app bar, we've done that it's got a title. We've done that we modified it a little bit, we've added a center widget, right? Underneath here, we can add a body and do stuff in here. So let's do that real quick. So let's come underneath our app bar because we want this to happen right underneath the app bar. Right. And let's give this guy a body. And let's give this text and say, learn to code at codemy.com. Right. Whatever. And you'll start to see as you build out your apps, how this looks more and more like a widget tree. Right now we don't have a whole lot going on. So it's kind of hard to see that, but go ahead and save this. Now head back over to our web browser, hit reload. And boom, we see learn to code at codemy.com scrunched way up there. So once again, we don't want that we want to center it. So we could just come in here to body and add our trusty center widget. There we go. There we go. And we remember we have to add a child as always. So we'll do that. Okay, that looks good. Head back over here, hit reload. And boom, there's our text in the middle, nice and centered. So that's really all I kind of want to talk about in this video, just to give you a very quick understanding of the widget tree, just sort of something to keep in mind and the scaffold, you can come through here and look at the documentation and play around with this see things on here that you might find interesting and try adding them you kind of have an idea now pretty much how to do anything you really want with these things just by adding them into our widget tree, you might get into a little bit of trouble putting them in the right places. For instance, this body, we know we want this right underneath the app bar. So we could see right here, it says app bar. 
Uh, you know, but it's it's still a little confusing. You'll get used to it the more you do it. Uh, and that's really all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So that's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos, and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students to learn to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com, and I'll see you in the next video.